Who Lives Who Dice is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. Hello and welcome to Who Lives Who Dice, a show where the players roll better the more they just screw around. Uh, my name is Matt Bateman, your Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller. Adventure aficionado. There he is, uh, coming to you with the greatest D&D show in the world, joined by some wonderful, lovely, talented friends uh, who are going to introduce what, themselves right now. are they turning up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, <laughs> David yeah. Cox. Oh. <laughs> He's left. He's gone. In the Matt middle of Bateman me has left himself. the building. That's very rude. <laughs> we're, we're DMless. Wait. Are we, we the are the DM, DM. DM now? Yeah, that would be irresponsible. I can't let any of you be in control. But please, tell yeah. the people who you are. They desperately want to know. Well, you started. Uh, true. Back to where I was. Hello, David Cox. Playing Alexi Karstav, uh, who has just wretched up a god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I love that you just checked your laptop. <laughs> yes. Being like, playing... It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say on the laptop. It's, it's just, just it's a word it's document. All, <laughs> all, all That's all not even a laptop. It's just got a mirror like where you look at yourself. Playing. playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, playing. <laughs> playing. <laughs> Bastard Bateman Bates. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, and I'm Sasha that. <laughs> and I'm Sasha Burgoyne, and I am playing the lovely Myla. Uh, as always, I don't need to check. She's fine. She's fine. She's, She's fine. fine. Yeah. I'm Naomi Clark, and I just swallowed a bug, and I'm playing four. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I'm, I'm the dark wizard that's taken over the body of Reese Lawson, and. <laughs> I'm trying to convince everyone that I'm playing Toot or Tutorial, who is the... Yeah, Tutorial! Tutorial! The Rumble! Boom! Tutorial is what we can pass to the game! Welcome to the Wimps Wooden Boy! Yeah, no, I'm playing Tutorial, who just watched someone cough up a god. You know, as you do. Yeah, it happens. For the record, I haven't actually said it's a god yet, it's just implied. We've decided. We've decided. No, you've oh, cool. implied. Yeah. Clearly, it's I'm not god. needed, so um, <laughs> enjoy the show, kick up, get a handkerchief for the god you've coughed up, and I uh, walk into this episode of Who Lives You Dice, and I'm just gonna go. Cool. Drum roll, please, you don't need it. <laughs> Twisting, writhing, squirming, you watch as a decaying hand forces its way out of Alexi's mouth, landing flat on the edge of the rock face in front of you, mere inches away from the 200 foot drop to the cavern floor below. An impressively imposing statue of the Raven Queen looks on, her likeness stretching hundreds of feet above you. Your attention is suddenly snapped back to the squirming hand in front of you as you watch Alexi draw his rapier an attempt to stab it. What happens next? Reese. I have a question. <laughs> Does this happen regularly? I've never seen it before. I'm assuming not. Huh. That's an interesting development. Should we assist? In the background. Should, no, no, no. Like, yeah, just grab it. Yeah. No, just like, yeah. no, it's like, just, it. It's, it's all like, right. <laughs> I've got it. And then with a bucket, like, <laughs> we're just like, having a little chat. Like, it's like full Benny Hill theme tune. His hands like scuttling in between the two of us. Like, <laughs> the hand briefly chases you. <laughs> Make an attack roll, please. Uh, is it a standard roll? Is it an advantage? Because technically it's prone. It's a standard attack roll, please. Oh. <laughs> Can a hand ever be prone? Can I <laughs> guidance? No. What's the sound of one hand prone? <laughs> Oh, that's good though. That's a dirty 20. With a dirty 20, you draw your rapier and coughing, you try and stab it and... <laughs> goes, roll damage. Uh, I'm not looking at the dice. 12. 12. Um, it pierces straight through and goes slightly into the dirt underneath and then suddenly the hand starts to... Rhythm. It stops for a second and... And then starts to put its fingers around and starts to push itself off the rapier. 
and tries like to flop off again. Like a squid! Flipping. Can I, can I, no, I want to grab it before it comes off the ground. I want to put it in a jar! Yeah. Uh, opposing dexterity checks then, please. Uh, Reesey boy. Oh. That's a 13. That's less than a 13, that's a 9. Uh, you, you attempt to make a grab, try and dive for it, and the hand flips up and starts to skitter away as the wound around it starts to heal. Uh, one more of you can make an attempt to grab it, one, one and one only. Before um, it, before it, before we oh, go into the next. Do you, you want to go for it? I'm gonna have a go at Thorn whipping it. Yeah, go on. Okay. That makes sense. To catch it and pull it back. Lasso yeah. that. Lasso that fucker. All right. Someone said something about a bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi was trying to get it. Four jumping out with Liza would be would yeah. be very very cool. That would be brilliant. Brilliant. Nope. If she wasn't fucking. <clears throat> Eleven. Eleven misses. Unfortunately, you throw your thorn out, and it sort of hops up a little bit and skitters up the wall. Into a cr- crevice and disappears. Huh. Hmm. Fuck. Um. <laughs> I would like to vomit. Uh, yeah, sure, go for it. Are there more? That's a free action. That's a free action. Bonus action. Bonus action. Yeah. I would like to follow the beast and like peer through the little crack. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. You you immediately sort of like ignoring throwing up a You you follow. You run up to the wall. Uh, make a perception check for me, please. But, <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> I refuse. I would turn into a mouse, but I can't. I could turn someone else into a mouse. That's cool. You're probably going to have to because my perception is minus one, and I rolled a five. So it's a hot four. You get up. Uh, it's yeah, it's a dark wall. <laughs> I, I look, like, look, in, look in this crevice, and just a finger just goes. Eh! <laughs> <laughs> I get to the eye, I'm like, Fuck! How yep. many hands did you eat? Mm, I, uh, he, um, he picks a fingernail out of his teeth. <laughs> I have never that. I have no idea what oh. that is. I've never consumed a hand. Huh. It's the hand of Torog. Yes. Okay. Oh. I had a check. <laughs> Understood. Yes, which is, I'm assuming it looks exactly like the hand that's on the cast. Make a religion list. check. Uh, what does Torog like? What does it eat? 17. 17? Uh, yeah, it's definitely the same, same one. What, is, what does Torog eat? Yeah. Blood. Just, just, just loves a good soul. Just a nice, well done, well done soul. Does Tutorial have a soul? Do we know that? He's currently crafting one. We don't know yeah. that for a fact. No, you don't know that. Okay. I, I would just like to whisper into the crevice. Yeah, creepy little hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here, creepy little hand. Sure, make go. You know, fuck it. Make a make a persuasion check. Let's let's see. Now it's to persuade that hand. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> would no, not would a twenty three do? Yes, persuade that hand. <laughs> We're here with Tina from Hull. Hey, Tina from Hull. Welcome to persuade that the hand. hand. The game show where you persuade that hand. You 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 whisper and your voice echoes down the crevice. <laughs> Check the bloopers. Uh, and the hand, you hear a scratching and soft, and so, suddenly you see two fingers sort of like pair out from the side a little bit. Hey, just, 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 just hey the tips of the guy. fingers. Hey, little guy. I've got some cursed objects if you want them. <laughs> <laughs> I pull, pull out the uh, the recently acquired cursed objects of the head, <laughs> which I think is a. God damn! I'm sure I pulled it out of here somewhere. Um, I'm staying um, the fuck away from okay, that. Okay, uh, a little mace of vampire slaying. Sure. And they sort of like wave it in in the gap. And I'm like, smells funky. I'm just like, I'm trying to encourage it out. It takes a second, a little nervous. It sort of like pairs around and then suddenly leaps out and grabs the top of the mace and just sort of clings onto it. Great. <laughs> Can I cast slow? Oh, very nice. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Mine is there, like, wait, and she's just like... Yeah, no, absolutely, that that works. It jumps on and suddenly just... It's just like... <sighs> and then I take my monster hunting chest, which I have, and just go... <laughs> and we're just like... And we lock it. Cool, you have captured... You have fucking Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking do now. <laughs> Sorry, it's just paint, paint it red and white. <laughs> no reason at all. Uh, no a legally all. distinct reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, white on top, red on the bottom, yeah, obviously. Yeah. For, yeah, oh, cool. evil hand! <laughs> <laughs> Gross you, hand, I it, choose you! It's, <laughs> it's quiet for a moment you hear a... Tell her, tell her. As it starts like knocking and it's making a lot of noise at the point. But yeah, you have captured a hand. 
Hell yeah. Well yes. done. Yes! <laughs> We've got a hug! We've got a hug! In a box! A <laughs> Alexi, how do you feel now that we have your hand in a box? You want to put another one in there? <laughs> <laughs> Wordlessly, Alexi just holds open the bag of holding, like... My was... <laughs> This is my friend now. I don't know what you think, what you think is happening. He tried to grab my face. I rather yeah, think yeah, it would be... Yeah, yeah, give it a second. Um, mm, this is not where I thought this would go. <laughs> yeah, Joke's yeah, on cool. me. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I, I, what I want to do is I'm going to hold the... Um, stay with me here. I'm going to hold the chest out in front of me at arm's length and sort of just walk around... Just in case it, it acts like some sort of, like, there's anywhere it wants to go. Mm, you know, I'm yes. using it essentially like a Geiger counter for evil at this time. Okay. <laughs> You're using it as a dowsing rod. You just hear the but little the finger, fing, the rough fingernails yeah. on the inside. It's like, click, 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 I'll be inside of the, the box. So you, you do that. It, it takes a moment, and the, the hand, once the hand stops freaking out, you start walking... And like you're like the the edge of this space is maybe twelve feet wide. It's not not a very wide yeah, spot yeah, yeah. for a share drop. Um, it doesn't seem to react to any of you, including Alexi. Uh, what you do notice when you sort of get closer to the edge, it starts scratching on the side facing you away. Okay, like, so it doesn't want to go over the edge. Doesn't want to go over the edge, uh, and you can see the essentially the the temple of the Raven Queen there as well. It seems to be reacting to that more than anything. Seems like we should go over the edge. Hell yeah. Um, I, that looks like a bit of a drop. Maybe we should find some stairs. What do you think Featherfall is for, baby? You play Boulders Gate. You know how this works. I, I, <laughs> I feel we've been using a lot of magic, and it might be advisable to, if we can avoid using it, do so. Understood. We shall look for stairs. I cast Fabricate on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I make stairs. Uh, can you just please, uh, just for my own sake, read the, fucking read the spell, please? Because Choose we're getting into some territory, oh, and I don't, I don't want to just wait, give wait. give you that for free oh, necessarily. No, that's, metal. <laughs> that's my favorite. Uh, you convert raw materials into products of the same material. For example, you can fabricate wooden bridge from a clump of trees, cool. or rope from a patch of hemp. So my only question is, it's a two hundred foot drop. Okay. Do you think reasonably is the spell strong enough to give you two hundred feet of stairs? Four. It's level four. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, for a fourth level, yeah, no, absolutely. For a fourth level um, spell, I'll allow it. Yeah, you can it's, fabricate a large or smaller object yep. within a ten foot cube or eight connected five foot oh, cubes. Oh, no, 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 I, I think I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, for a fourth level spell, it's just stairs, right? It's a ten right? minute casting, so. Cool, all right. So, you've got ten, you have ten minutes. Boom. <laughs> and he'll take a <laughs> thing from, like, zoom, he takes zoom. out a, a surprisingly large, like, brick dust red sphere. And just, just slaps, it, into slaps the side. it against the wall. Cool. I like it because yeah, this whole ten minutes is just going to be like one stair, another stair, another stair. As you're it's, just like, it's the Minecraft like hop. Yeah. Hop. Yeah. Do. Do. So I'm just picturing a traffic jam where you just like edge slightly forward, yeah. then again, <laughs> then again. Yeah. 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 It's exactly. Then again. Exactly. Cool. Takes um, you. Sorry. No. Please go. I was just gonna. I was just gonna be slightly sensible and pull out my rope as well, and just like, just like, it was a little rope on the side. Make a little think. banister. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of the thought. Takes you the better part of an hour, um, because it's slow going. You're doing this one step at a time, but you get down to the bottom, um, and you find yourself at at the feet of the temple. Grand stairs, columns up on either side, um, massive imposing doors, probably 50, 60 feet high, um, but immediately after a couple of minutes of walking away from the wall where you came down, you do come across what appears to be an old campsite. Um, a cursory glance, you do see uh, some boxes, some crates, um, some old matted uh, sort of bedrolls. How old is it? That. You can have a look if you want. Make an oh, investigation yeah. check. Um, and, uh, Alexi will also do that if possible. Cool. Both roll a one with advantage. Is, are you better at investigating than me? I'm good at investigating. Then That's definitely like do it. Book. I'm I'm not very good at investigating. Great. I'm just good. Well, at, not great. But I'm you... just good at suggesting to investigate. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I looked. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Okay. With, with the tw- it's not it's not it's not a particularly high DC, um, but you you wander in, um, and it's it's not a particularly expansive sort of space. Um. <laughs> 
pants when he's like, what? It's just because one. <laughs> it was the dice that say fuck instead of a one. <laughs> so he just rolled them and I was just and it just went fuck and I was like, yeah, that is my fault. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> staring, going, I'm so sorry. With with the twelve, um, what you are able to sort of discover is that it's decades, centuries. It's it's long, long gone. Mm. Um, you you also find looking through some of the old rubbish is uh, four skeletons, um, a few sort of rags of clothes sort of left left hanging around. Um, it also seems there's a few arrows, a few sort of chunks taken out here and there, the bones and broken bones amongst. It does look like there was a fight here whenever this this went down. Um, one, one in particular, you do see a, a body of a bit shorter, a bit, a bit wider, um, sort of here resting um, against one of the altars. Anything distinguishing about that? Uh, you can have a closer look if I you want. I will have a closer look. Cool. You, you, you get up um, and you do sort of find there's, there's one sort of long arrow sticking out of the chest and a, a large leather tome tucked under the arm. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try and have a look at the grab group. that tome. Activate <laughs> that trap. Please do that. Cool. Uh, make a sleight of hand check, please. Okay. Uh, Myla, you notice going through this, all of the skeletons appear to be wearing sunglasses. Very cool. Eleven. Eleven. You stick your hand into the tome, and as you I grab close it. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you grab and you pull it you realise it's a little bit stuck and you start to tug at it and it rips and immediately dissipates into dust oh shit gone um, I can't help but notice that all of these skeletons have weird spectacles Oh my god, that looks really cool. Can he see in three D now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you 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 put you put the glasses on. You don't you don't feel any different, but you do, as you would expect with sunglasses. Uh, everything does just look a bit Myla's, darker. Myla's going to pick them up and put them on and just be like, "I fail to see how this would be useful to avoid traps." I imagine it's um, to deal with matters of photosensitivity. Oh. Who is likely to be photosensitive? Also, we are anything of the dark. underdark, perhaps. Huh. Yeah, are these are these drow? Uh, you can make a medicine or a nature check if you want to determine. Okay. The actual. Um, it's gonna be origin. nature. Natty twenty. With a natty twenty, uh, you immediately <laughs> determine one wood elf, one dwarf, which is the one that Alexia was messing with, and two human. You I don't tell you... who was a dwarf without a nature check. I'm natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so with my natural twenty, yeah. GM, please. Um, this is the one I get to reward you for instead of punishing you, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I have uh, any inkling as to why they would be wearing sunglasses? Um, looking around, and you sort of you sort of peek down, and you putting two and two together. There were a couple of shafts of light coming through, and mm-hmm. and now looking across and at the cave floor, you realize the light is not coming from the ceiling. That's ridiculous. You are hundreds of feet deep. You actually yeah. realize the light is coming from a large crystal ben- beneath you is every now and then there's a small crack and where it looks like the light's hitting it's actually coming up from beneath you what instead. color is the light bright white uh, okay that's i'm fine. gonna pick up one of the sunglasses sure. i mean i've already put them on yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're cool. all getting sunglasses. <laughs> we're all like okay and look for some um okay before moving on is there anything else here that i can see determine whatever you can make one more investigation check but it will be a higher dc because you've already done a search no, through totally fine I'll- yeah. yeah. Do you want to help? Yeah, we want to. We want to rustle. I want Russell. I want. I want. All right, I'll let you. I'll let you do the investigation check instead. No, it's just, you no, can no do he's already done it. Okay, I'll go do on then. Investigation check. On this guy. That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> investigation minus one, so four. It's a great number, but no, you you don't. With the sunglasses on, he walks directly <laughs> forward into a wall. Into a wall. <laughs> Bonk. Says, Nothing "I think I have found you. something." <laughs> That's a wall. Ah, I have found a wall. Well done. <laughs> whispers. Whisper, whisper, whisper. 
If I do this, then I can't hear Matt, so I have to keep on talking because I've started. I'm running out of breath. This is getting dangerous. David needs water. Um, that was, David does need that was water a little, in general. That was a little bitty called, called David Needs Water because yeah. he's running and out of breath. And you can find breath. that on our band camp. Mm. Yeah, check, check out the band camp. Um, <laughs> you're on there, dear. Oh, freezing. Uh... Okay, obviously Alexa didn't say that in character. <laughs> You're right there. No, no, it's it's canon. That happened. That happened. Play on, baby girl. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, let's do, I mean, uh, my Sugar Sorry. Uh, <laughs> baby cakes. Anything else? Kitten hair. I like the I like the baby cakes as, as baby cakes. Yeah. Um. Edge of my seat here, dude. <laughs> Uh, did anyone else hear that? No. <laughs> hear what? When Toot walked into the wall, yes. and it made a bit like bonk sound. Like it was hollow? No, bonk. no, no. The, the, it was just a wall. Right. He walked into a wall. Toot, walk into the wall again. Bonk. Oh, oh. It happens again. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, maybe, no, maybe no, we. No, 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 no. no. Stop. Okay, okay, I'm go- okay, I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> I am very kind. Finish, please. I could be more frustrated. There's a weird metal grating sound from inside the temple every time a loud noise happens. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, from now on we're going to be very quiet. Shake the box. Oh. It, you hear it bouncing around inside, it squeals a little bit, and it oh. keeps scratching, trying to get away from the front door okay. of the temple. I think I think you are right. I think it is time for Thumbelina to go into the bag of holding. <laughs> Thumbelina! <laughs> 10 out of 10. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Inspiration. Inspiration. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're going to need it. Box oh. with toe rock hand. Thank you. <laughs> right. Uh, the campsite doesn't appear to reveal anything else. Um, you can tell there was a fight. Mm. The weapons look similar enough that it looks like it was in fighting, but without that book, it's only you're able to determine much more. Yeah. Who has sunglasses? All of us. All of, us. All of you have them. Cool. Great. Um, would you like to hang around or would you like to move on? I think we go towards yeah, yeah. the light. I would like to go into the temple. But cool. We creep in? We creep in? Yeah. We creep in. Yeah. We creep um, in. I think, do you want to... <laughs> Not that bad. No, I just realised if I put on this plate too, the, the plus two plate, I'm going to be so loud. Yeah. <laughs> but also basically <laughs> unhittable. <laughs> but, yeah, that's fine for him, but what about the rest of us? True. Um... I'm so squishy. I've not put it on yet. <laughs> um, I think, you know what I suggest? I suggest that we all take our shoes off and we go socks. You don't have any shoes. Uh, Toot is still in a dress. Yeah. I am still in the gothy dress. Yeah. yeah, I give you a pair of my sleep socks. <laughs> fluffy sleep socks to go over your feet to try and decrease. Mine has already noise. got basically like very soft hunting boot type it. things on, so she's probably fine. Okay. She'd be fine with going barefoot, but she's just like these. these, these I have disadvantage on stealth rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise against sacrificing any sort of leg where, just in case the very old place doesn't have any sort of thing that can give us a secondary infection. In case it has a rocky bottom? Yes. Disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Your next roll is a disadvantage. <laughs> Quick, try and do something. Uh, <laughs> the next roll I determine is a disadvantage. Uh, no, that's bullshit. Damn, no. That was funny and you know it. <laughs> I would like to stealth towards the light. Yeah, sure. So, so, so just just so this is a bit clearer. Right sorry. Down. So the light isn't shooting out from no, the temple. It's it's yeah. up. up yeah. From so the towards the temple. Find yeah. The sure. Down. Sure. So it, it doesn't quite light it like down, a path. Like, but there's like there's maybe three or four shafts that sort of leading up. All three all. or four shafts. That's too much for a rocky bottom. <laughs> Inspiration's gone. Uh, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Absolutely worth it. Absolutely. I'm kidding. It. You've still got your inspiration. Oh, I didn't. Fine. I never had any to begin <laughs> with. No, it's fine. Anyway, you approach the temple. Yes. Um, and it, it rises up to greet you. You walk past the giant foot, similar to the about the size of the Titan, um, if you recall, back mm-hmm. on the mountain. Um, and you approach these massive, imposing doors. Big obsidian gears sit in the middle, carvings all through, but they are slammed place. tight shut. And no light is escaping from these doors. It only seems to be appearing from every, like, tiny cracks in the floor behind you. No. Oh, 
let's no. let's not. I like the energy. I like the energy. <laughs> I love the energy. <laughs> Any sort of opening do it, apparatus. Do it, do it. Make an investigation check. Pong. <laughs> 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 Jesus I, I Christ. Looked. I'm so sorry. I've got to stop. <clears throat> oh, it's not your fault. I'm rolling like ass today. Eight. Eight. No. Even with an eight, you are learned enough that it's a very a cursory glance. It's a complex system. Mm. This isn't a simple open and pull. Like, you right. see there is a lever, um, which you can attempt to pull if you want. I think since you failed your investigation check, we should let Reese hit the door. I think we should let him knock. I think that's a terrible idea. I so do. I. Who the cares? Awful idea. But we should definitely... We should definitely let him, though. Yeah. You had your chance. I let you roll before I suggested that we just let him go fucking ape shit. You know, the logic is sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a knock, big door. Knock. We shall knock. Knock this door, baby. Shout, knock, knock, knock as knock. you do it. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> now, are you, are you literally just knocking on the door? Are you casting the spell knock? No. I both. cannot cast the spell Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't sure of you. No, no, yes. no. This is knock, knock. Bang, bam, bam. bam. Cool. And then the door says, who's, who's there? there? <laughs> Do it, I hear the thing again? You knock and there's a reverberation for a moment. <laughs> and you feel sort of like the shiver come through your chest. And you feel under your armpit burn ever so slightly. Even within the bag of holding, you feel the slight squirm as something seems to react inside of it. Thumbelina, no! Huh. And there's a beat or two of silence. And then there's this. <laughs> from inside. Uh, to will replicate that noise and then go, who? <laughs> you listen. No, you. Stop. You've got to make him replicate the noise. He can't just say, I replicate okay. the noise. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Come on, dancing monkey. <laughs> <laughs> who? Not bad, not bad. Thank you. Thank you. We'll the that. noise continues on for several minutes and several minutes longer for you as it sort of approaches the door. Great. We hide. And walks away. Oh. oh. It goes silent for after about 10 minutes. So, like, I assume in this case, Myla's there being like. <laughs> <laughs> that your ear is literally <laughs> flopped up against the yeah, door. Yeah, she's like, like. Pressing on. I do not think this thing understands jokes. I think you might be right. I don't think you do either. Huh. What? This what? will be a learning experience for all of us, then. Yeah. What happens next? Um, can I... Well, it's definitely... It? There's definitely something moving yeah. in there, but... Something big. E oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm relatively intelligent. Mm. I can look at a set of gears... You'd like and, to think so. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm Get not. <laughs> <laughs> a boulder falls from the sky <laughs> and lands on top of four, and she reapparates it. Yeah, and I fine. just crawl out from it and say, "Wow, I've really hit rocky bottom." Um, <laughs> I love you and appreciate you. <laughs> You're uh, fine. <laughs> I uh, I think that I could look at a set of gears and try and understand the mechanism at, at hand. Sure. Make a make an intelligence check. Sure. Can I use? Is it investigation or arcana? Uh, it's investigation. Yep. Are you going to guidance me? Guidance. Guidance. Oh, fuck, I've got it's a stop. natural twenty again. Oh, okay, I got to okay. look at these rolls. Plus four, plus whatever that was. D I don't think I don't think D you something. Need it. What's I the total? Mean you don't, At least a twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, twenty-three. Twenty-four plus. It's uh, one d four. So yeah. uh, whatever you fancy. Yeah, twenty five. Okay. So, with a twenty five uh, and some bullshit, you notice three different things. You notice that there is a large lever, which looks very large and heavy, which would pull and probably open the door. Um, you also notice checking the extra door itself, as intricate and as detailed as it is old, and small bits have started to fall away, which has resulted in two things. One of the key gears, it appears, has shattered slightly and it's split in two. Mm -hmm. And you also notice maybe the size of a dormouse, a small hole mm -hmm. in the corner of the right door, which potentially a small thing might be able to flip through. Okay. Pull the lever for. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> <Young> lever! <laughs> Why do they even have, have that, that lever? <laughs> but yeah, like looking at the mechanisms, you can tell if you pulled that lever. It doesn't look like the systems would work unless you did something about that yeah. gear. 
Um, Have you not seen him for his new groove? Oh, you would love Earth it. Earth a kit. Yeah. Join Earth us a on a very special uh, <laughs> Discord live stream. live stream where we're going to watch Emperor's New Groove with David for the first time. And, and it's going to be gonna make, phenomenal. <laughs> we're going to keep pausing it and be like, and David, what's the next line? <laughs> <laughs> um, Back to the show. Darling, um, you see that, that gear there? The, the big... Looks up there. It's about, it's about six feet tall. Made the of obsidian. Is, the one that is broken. Yeah. It, do you think you could have a look at... Mending that a little, maybe. Hmm. It's about twenty feet in the air. That says. I just need. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Problem with him. Yeah. I um, can but try. Great. Uh, I take out a stick with a mirror on the end. Okay. And I slide it through the dormouse-sized hole to okay. see what's on the other side. Great. Myla, this in this time, is just going to be like, I feel like it'll be useful for me to be able to be an animal. Yeah. In that case, I'm just going to go sit over here for a bit. Chill out, rest. Quietly. Yeah. Yeah. Teach okay. Cyril some more tricks. You're taking a short rest. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, baby. Uh, make a perception check for me, please. Cool. Okay. Five. Five. What's a door? <laughs> What's a mouth? <laughs> you stick the mirror through and you, you jiggle it for a second and you manage to fit it through. And just at the wrong possible moment, suddenly, as you're just catching the last glimpse as it crosses the threshold, this very sudden bright beam of light just shoots up and hits you in the face. Right. Okay. Are you wearing sunglasses? Not at this time, I've decided. Cool, I need... <laughs> do you have dark vision? Uh, no, I don't think Constitution I do. saving throw, straight roll. Thank you. Um... That's a 13. 13. Uh, you fail. Ooh, you suddenly recoil back and fall, uh, and you are blinded for the next 10 minutes. As bright light just pierces your eyes as you weren't expecting that. I immediately put the sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we are here for the next 10 minutes. I'm riding <laughs> on the floor like, ah! ah! And I was like, I'm <laughs> Again, I'm going to remind us that we, ha we had agreed on silence in here. It <laughs> falls, they're like, ah! Yeah, that's better. <laughs> um, Myla's just there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I would prefer if you use the Wii theme tune in future. I lay there, yeah. writhing in the dirt, unable to see. Yep. Um, and I say, my glasses, my glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Um, and, <laughs> and that <laughs> makes a difference. Um, um, cool. Yeah. What are the rest of you doing? I would like to look around the sort of exterior of the door, like the frame and stuff, to see if there is any kind of writing uh, or uh, sigil symbols, anything that might tell me a little sure. bit more about the place. Sure, sure. You you look through. I won't make you roll for this. Um, the bridge between the sites where it happens, where it ended, and all else in between, may she forever be in our hearts, minds, and souls, the fairy between the realms. And fairy spelts are uh, like the boat. F-E-R-R-Y. Yes, yes, yes. not in cross not. the Mersey. I like yes, the fact yeah. that you didn't just spell it because you don't know how, but... No, I just want to, it was quicker, and yet we're still talking about it. So, hey, egg on my face, right? But that, that repeats. And more worship towards the Raven Queen. Um, and is this in line with previous research I would have done trying to find this place? Yeah. Make it, just make a general religion check for me. Okay. Uh, if I can get my sheet up. Oh, that's good. 24. You ascertain, with the age of this writing, this looks like it could be one of the very first sites. Even the original. Well, that lines up with a lot of stuff. There we go. Uh, your blindness wears off. Yeah, cool. Cool. I'm gonna climb some cogs. Go for it. Do, 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 so, do, just before do, we do, jump do, into do, this, do, what, what are you uh, attempting uh, to do? So, there's a large gear, black stone cracked down the middle, sort of caught between the two. We haven't pulled the lever yet, Kronk. No. So, what, 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 what are you attempting to do? Uh, climb up and cast mending on that. Okay. You climb up. 
Athletics check, please. Okay. Three. Uh, athletics, is it? Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Grand total of six. Yeah, that's that's not going to cut it. Just you, you you start to climb, and the weight of you <laughs> and the plus two plate armor you're probably still carrying yeah. uh, just starts to pull the gears down. However, as you pull down, you do notice there's still some shifting of the mechanisms inside the door, and with your passive perception and you being right nearby, you do notice there is still a little bit of movement in that, and it makes you think maybe the gear isn't necessary. Maybe there's a way to work around it. Um, I think that I take my crowbar, which is also with my monster chest, and uh, I suggest that this young man, I, I help him down, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, s- slowly push the lever as myself, Myla, and Alexi, if he's with us at this time. Yeah, still there. Cool, great. My- Myla's not. Myla's still resting. Myla's cool. off. Okay, you, me, Alexi and I use the crowbar to see if we can make a... S- slowly push open okay, enough so room to get us through. I just, I'd rather not spend <clears throat> spells on... Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Oh, no, please do. <laughs> please do. That's why I'm here, like... La, 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 la. Okay, are you, are you trying to complete a short rest? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, it's only been about half an hour. Cool. So it we... was an hour for us to get down the cliff. Yep, but walking down the cliff is not a short rest. Okay. No, no, no. There were very comfortable stairs. <laughs> And if he's making them at a rate of... (laughs) (laughs) So, we can go ahead, or we can wait another half an hour for Myla to finish a short rest. Sorry, guys. All right, well, in that case, I will let all of you complete that short rest if you want to recover. I'd like to. You know why? Uh, During the time, the noise does not return. That's That's good. Um, And I'm going to do my natural recovery during the short rest as well. Absolutely not a problem. Thank you very much. Ditto. You don't have natural recovery. I can recover druid. spell slots. That's not natural. Arcane recovery. <laughs> What's the same? No! <laughs> You're not communing with the nature spirit. No, I'm communing. Riveting with content. For those listening at home, uh, we're pressing buttons on D&D Beyond. I don't think anything happens when I take a short rest. Oh. Do sorcerers not get like um, sorcery points back? No, I think my short stuff is like long rest. I get so much shit on a short rest because I get mm. both my world shapes back and... Like, so, yeah, it's very useful. back to where we were. <laughs> Thank you. Short rest completed. So, uh, four, just talk me through... So, you are trying to pry it or you pull it, You also mentioned pulling the lever. So you're yeah, trying so to get... I'm going to have your boy... Pull the lever. Cool. Pull the lever. And then the rest of us, like... The rest of us are going to use the thing. Yeah. With, the with your natural 20 earlier, because uh, it was a fantastic roll, I, you, you were probably able to ascertain that with the right amount of pressure... On both sides, you're probably able to jimmy the lock a little bit without. That's you don't know how, intention. but you don't know how quiet it's going to be. Is the one caveat with that? Just gonna... fuck it, it's happening. Cool, good to know. Can cool. we wrap a bit of fabric around like the edge of the like crowbar or something? Sure. I don't think that's gonna. Yeah, yeah the sound yeah, is gonna it's come the, from the mechanism. The door, Does anyone yeah. have grease? I do. You want to grease it? Grease the grease the cogs and the hinges and stuff. Yeah, yeah. go on. Go for it. Grease it. Cool. Cool, you cast Grease, which is going to lower that DC. Oh, uh, get yeah. some WD-40 on those boys. Oh, that's a great name for a Warforged. Okay. <laughs> right, so, just checking who is doing what. So, crowbar? No, we're crowbar, you're lev- oh, yeah, um, lever. I will, doors, doors open like that. I will that. be providing yeah. the lever. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, I need then, this is not a strength check, this is a sleight of hand check to feel where... Or just actually, just a dexterity check, just to feel where the mechanism feels right. Cool, cool, cool. Don't look. Uh, that's eleven. Okay, you you start to pull, and there's this grinding as they slowly come to life. You feel a bit of resistance, and just manage to edge through. But the the grease does seem to make a difference. Uh, it's going to be a high DC for this crowbar pull to work, as you do feel the lock give. Slightly on Guidance. the left door. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Who was prying the door open? Uh, well, I was planning on it being both of us, but um, we both have a strength of minus one, don't we? Mine's zero. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just straight roll. Straight roll. Strength check. Plus uh, guidance. Plus guidance. Which is d4, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> uh, six. 
doesn't quite, and it just the door jams, maybe about that wide, as a bright beam of light just mm-hmm. whoo, shoots out. Uh, you're by the door, and it was just you pulling by yourself. Yes. Constitution saving throw. I'm wearing the sunglasses. Constitution saving throw. Shit. Straight roll. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen fails. Oh. You are blinded. For ten minutes. For ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the door is open, and you've got maybe about two inches of space now. I believe we agreed on silence throughout this particular part. Thanks to the grease, it was very quiet. Okay. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> oh, if I could so be giving you the most glary of glares. How glary? About that glary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's a lot of glare. Yeah. Right. Uh, Can I... Has the thing inside moved? You haven't heard any... You haven't heard anything since since that first big, big one, no. Um, But the door doesn't appear locked, and there is at least enough room for some purchase if you wanted to attempt to just yank it open at this point. Do you want me to go in and have a look? I'd rather that we all went in together, if I'm honest. So I have an idea. Okay. What if... I turn into a bat, and, and I shut my eyes and use echolocation yeah, strong. to figure out what's going on in there. That is a very smart idea. It is. Okay. We can do, do that. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> is, this, is this polymorph <laughs> or wild shape? Well, I'm, I'm checking. I'm leathery checking. Flat, flat. Yeah, yeah. Leather, a leathery flat flat. Leathery flat flat. Cool. That's what I call mine. You puff into a bat and fly into the room. It's not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I just miss? I have no idea what they are on about. I'm just being a bat. <laughs> yeah. Boo. 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 <gasps> a set. Oh, it's pretty doors. Ooh, those are nice doors. Okay. Yeah. I bet they're really easy to open. Do you want, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, Myla flies I'm, in. I'm hearing a notice board. <laughs> 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 they're, uh, they're saying uh, community piano lessons. <laughs> and a salsa class. That's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, they've cancelled Zumba this week. Yeah. Uh, There's a drain. I'm still <laughs> thinking about baby massage. <laughs> Even with the closed eyes, you feel this very bright <laughs> light <laughs> enveloping all around you. Uh, make a perception check with your blind sense, though, please. I don't know what that is for a bat. Uh, but I've got it. <laughs> I was just like, I'm sure a bat is fine. Well, no, it's mental, so no, it's, it's, really your own, really it's your own stats. Oh, it's just my stats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's perception. Oh, all right, sweet, yeah. sweet, 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 sweet. Perception, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which would be an advantage, as it would technically be relying on hearing. Uh, no, because yeah, that's, that's... It's either all bat or all myla. Otherwise, we've got crossover in that. Right. Yeah, cool. Some, um, some sort of... No, no, no worries. No, it's, 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 it's a fair call. Myla. It's bad myla. Swear to me! <laughs> <laughs> Swear to me. <laughs> um, that is a 22. With a 22, with a dirty 22 as you fly in and you... <laughs> you, you float and you flit around and you do, you, you sort of feel like the rustle of some old papers on a notice board. You feel a slight draft coming through from a door in front. Uh, and with a 22, you also feel a slight draft coming from this wall over here on the right. <laughs> secret door! Secret tunnel! Secret, secret. Oh, see secret! Um, you also, there is another lever on the other side as well on the wall, large about Is that about the wrong level crock? <laughs> crock? There's one way to find out. <laughs> Not as a bat. <laughs> what like, what happens around? next? Okay, 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 okay. Maya's gonna flat back out. <laughs> uh, can you I, 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 communicate Flat-ones. in any way or are you just like, come with us, come with me? And flat you'll be once, in a world of imagination. Uh, flat. So, so she's gonna she's gonna hang upside down mm. off the uh-huh. off the door frame thing. Um, obviously. Uh, did you say flat once for yes? Yes. Okay. So you said, do you want us to come with you? No. No. Do you want us Double to come yes. with you at, with our eyes closed? No. Okay. Double yes. Do you want us to stay here? Your someone is going to have to tell me if she flaps. By the way. Yes. <laughs> One flap for yes. 
Yes. yes. No, we got um, that. <laughs> The thing is, you've come out here and you're like, I need to communicate something, but you haven't decided what it was you were trying to communicate. No, I know exactly what I'm trying to communicate, but I haven't been given the ability to yet. Would you like some fruit and or grubs? <laughs> yes. Very well. <laughs> Milo, would you like me to start guessing things that might be on the other side? Did she flap? No, she didn't no. do anything. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bat shrug? <laughs> Imagine this, I'm nice. but upside down. Uh, right. I can't Myla. see you. Ah, oh, understood. Myla, is there anyone in there? No. Two people. <laughs> God, don't take it off his glasses. I'm done for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm blind. Fuck. <laughs> um, okay. Say it takes life. Let's, um, let's see. So through. A series of mimes. A series of mimes. Sure. Myla is trying to basically ask, like, should I go further? Yes. Like, should she investigate further? Yeah. yeah okay, obviously. in that case, she'll be like, all right. Um, all right, so I assume she's figured out that, that is there a way she can get through that double door? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can fly up. And all right. It's, and it's, just a, it's just a regular door. Yeah, but presumably there's no gaps in it. No. Okay, and what about the little draft you come in from here? Uh, you you fly and you see the source of the draft coming underneath, but you can't, at least in your bat form, figure it away to mm. activate anything. All right, um, it, are there any little little nooks or crannies or anything that she can flap through to another room? Uh, you can. I think I think at a push with an acrobatic check, you could try and slip through that door. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, go yeah, for we'll it. Take that. If not, I have a great idea. Uh, plus two. Plus two. Lovely. Thank you. And you love it when I have a great idea. I do love it when you have a great idea. Uh, that's 13. Yeah, 13. Yeah, you managed to just, you sort of flop down. It's like a I'm little a bit. a little bit. It's a little like, you, you notice you land, there's long scrape marks across the floor, which follow a motion. And you just sort of get in, you just. <laughs> and you pop out on the other side and you <laughs> find your way in a long room. And you suddenly, it feels a little bit easier to see in here. And you can sort of slowly open your little bat eyes. And you notice there are basins with black fire on either side. But instead of casting light, it seems to be casting shadow, Woo. cutting into the light. And you can, as well as a bat can, kind of see a little bit. Make a perception check. Ah, <gasps> oh, with your hearing. The beast. Eleven. You don't hear anything. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, shit. it's all clear, let's go. <laughs> all clear, lads. Let's, let's it's go. a long hallway, 30, 40, 50, 60. You don't know it disappears. Okay. Are there any other bats around? Uh, you didn't hear or see anything. It's very, very quiet, save for the soft flicker of flame. Okay. Gonna back through the hole. Okay. You back through the hole. Um, can I try and follow those drag marks? Or do they, would they go So the drag marks came out. Yeah. And then they came. And then they came back in. Yep. So the drag marks carry on down the hallway if you want to keep following <laughs> that. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> Bye, Myla. Nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> in that case, in that case, I wouldn't have popped back out. I'll have like kept going. Okay. I thought, I thought the drag marks were going around. Uh, just, just we'll cut back to that. What are the three of you doing? Your blindness has now worn off. Myla's been gone a good five or so minutes since coming back and going again. We need to get on the other side of that door. May I borrow a shield? Would you like a magical one or a regular one? Whichever one is shiniest. Ooh, I bring out one. the um, <laughs> shield, the D22. Go the sun and moon, moon shield? shield? Sure. Thank you kindly. We'll take out the wax and we'll just keep polishing it. Yeah, and we'll me. polish it as much as possible. I would like to shop for 1,000 mirrors. Um, <laughs> the power of a 1,000 candles. <laughs> and, yeah, once it's satisfyingly shiny. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that we should do a... Uh, I think we should wrap our eyes, make ourselves extra blind to give us benefits, and then go in with you and the, the mirror shield. And you can be our eyes, because you're the one who's going to have to do any physical labor anyway. Um, Rock and roll. Yeah, let's fucking go. Okay. Let's find a way of uh, opening this door. Make us if you just want to grab and pull, make grab a strength pull. check. 
grab and pull. Can I help him out at all? Yeah. Oh. With my eyes closed? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You, you're no longer blind, so you can do it. Oh yeah, I'm just doing this so I don't get blinded again. Sure. Uh, well, you're being helped, so you've got advantage, oh, uh, Reesey cool. boy. Well, that's good. I say that. That's already 18 on the dice, but... Yeah, so that, was, that would have been 18 on the dice. Uh, 18 plus 3, so 21, please. Cool. You lock your legs into position, you grab... Oh, oh Jeff's not here, it's fine. The mic. <laughs> grab, and you just start to... <laughs> just... <laughs> the lever sort of stops and then just... <laughs> bends open as the door opens, and you hear the door opening from behind you and you suddenly hear that deep <laughs> echoing from the wall. How fast is the <laughs> coming towards me? Oh, it's, there's no sound. You just, you just hear a deep sort of like metallic breathing yeah, that, deep inside. It's not approaching, but you hear it. I hear it. You hear it far in the distance and the soft steps suddenly become much harder and more intentional as the metal begins to scrape and slowly comes towards you. Myla's gonna go as high in the ceiling as she can. Cool. Uh, don't worry, don't give us any warning, just let us die. Go Light on. pours out, but thankfully since you all wrapped your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, with bits of goth with dress. bits yes. of goth dress. There's it's a lovely mini skirt hat. <laughs> <laughs> the doors open and the three of you find yourselves in this entryway. With no sign of Myla. I mean, we've got eyes wrapped, so we don't, we don't see know anything. if there's any sign of Milo, flap twice if you can see us. Can I hear them? So I'm not like, yeah, I'm obviously in the. Next you've in, in this time you've traveled, you've traveled a, a wee way deep into okay. the temple. Um, make a stealth check for me, please. Uh, that'll be that's Dex as well as mm -hmm. stealth. Yeah, so it's plus two. That's what we're talking about. Okay. I fly into a column and go. <laughs> <laughs> you get caught in an old spider web and sort of like try to kick your leg free and as you do that you look down the hallway and that metallic breathing gets louder and louder and the scraping and you look to see a large humanoid figure standing maybe nine feet tall has it got a big sword that's dragging behind it is it a dark souls boss I, are you just throwing us for a loop and it's jigglypuff <laughs> Jigglypuff rest is nothing to mess with, my friend. <laughs> that, is, that is messed yes, up. This is true. <laughs> with a singular purpose, heading towards the source of the noise. Um, the little bit you're able to see with your limited eyesight, um, you aren't able to make out what weapon, but it sounds heavy as it drags behind it and just this constant scrape of metal against stone. And there's a glint of light as you realize there's some sort of metallic headpiece on top and the metallic breathing keeps coming through. It doesn't seem to pay any attention to you, but it definitely begins to head towards the source of the door opening. And that's where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Shit's about to get real. In well, a fantasy setting. In a fantasy setting, <laughs> as much as it can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, it's us again, Sasha and David. Wrong way. <laughs> Ah, hello! <laughs> You're here! Ah, I was not expecting this, even You're though here. I was counted down! We're here! <laughs> and we're here to talk about Patreon. We have one. It's amazing. Yes. You know what we also have that's amazing? There's a Discord channel. There There's is a, a Discord, Discord channel. channel. Server. There's a whole Discord. That, that's one it. whole Discord. There's a channel. I like how, uh, you know, like when we play, I'm ordering your chaos, but whenever we do this, you're ordering I'm chaos. It's lovely. Yeah, that's because I. I'm a businesswoman. Yes, David. and I'm insane. Yeah. There's also going to be bonus content. There's going to be content that you couldn't get access to at the same time before, but now you can. Ooh. That made sense. How many takes has it been? <laughs> and yeah, there's just going to be loads of extra bits and pieces, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that we do will probably pop up on there first. So yeah, go check it out. Sash, what else do we have to see? Matt, stop laughing. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to just finding out a bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, Helping us keep Matt stocked with hats, keep the padlocks on his cage. He needs so many hats. Oh, so many hats. But yeah, come check it out. We'll see you there. Oh, Bye. and thank you so much for all your love and support. 
I'm saying it before Matt yells at me again. Really clinched it there, buddy. Really clinched it. Right. Bye, kids. <laughs>
I thought you were meaning rock, paper, scissors, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go first. Scissors, <laughs> oh, oh, what should I do? Okay, tutorial, you notice that Forrest likes pressing against the wall, trying to figure out what, what's going on. Uh, you hear the heavy footsteps and the metallic breathing slowly approaching you. What happens next? Turn. <laughs> And the door is closed the on the other side as well. You can you can see that. <laughs> say the line. Say the line. Onward. <laughs> I was going to say Papa. Papa. Papa Five. Um. Uh. Well. I don't know if the doors open outward or inward. I'm going to go and brace myself against that door. Okay. You go <laughs> and brace yourself. Yep. You run up. You brace yourself against that door, and immediately. Fall through their door. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Race core behavior. On brand. The door's open. Yeah. Um, That's really good. I love it. Yeah. We'll go and just to, we'll say, I do not know if I can hold this for long. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Myla, that Myla is just going to be like. <laughs> Cool. You look Starts through. Flying in a you, you see these large basins of black flame and notice that it dims the light around and it sort of like repeats, repeats, repeats. You don't see anything yet, but you do hear the footsteps getting closer. You still have an action and a bonus action. What would you like to do? Oh, no. Um, well, what? You want plans? Plans? From me? Um, well, this is the planning time before okay, whatever yeah. shows up. Okay. Alternatives are you can try and find the lever that opens the door that I'm trying to get into. You can create a distraction you can run ahead and get the thing or you can you've used all your movement at this point unless you're an action dash um or you could set it you could lay a trap for it when it comes i do like traps (laughs) you could cover yourself in holy fire should you wish um no i I know i I think i know i think i know what i'm gonna do uh i will turn and close the doors behind me okay cool and stand in front of them with my hammer. With your big, with your big. No, no, the other no, way. no, no. The other way. Oh, the other way. Right, right. The cool. stupid way. Yeah. The stupid way. Yes. <laughs> Reese call. Cool. You stand as a sentry. I am just going to take this out just so we can see what's on the hallway. But it is very, very lovely. Wow, this amazing piece of modular thing. Are we being sponsored? Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a very independent place who gave us a lot of things. Links in the description. Uh, thank really you, cool. Three ND Print uh, from France. Ooh. They were lovely. One of the few English-speaking people yeah. I met. Back to the show. Right, uh, next in initiative. Alexi, you're up. I would like to investigate the ever-loving shit out of this area and look for anything I can uh, similar to the writing I saw on the door outside. Perhaps speaking about a guardian or any sort of, like, safe passphrase or something like that. Great. Uh, there's going to be a full action and most of your movement so to that, do. I safe word. Word. <laughs> So you're looking for a safe word. Yes. Investigation check. Uh, most of this is going to rely on sight, so this is going to be a disadvantage. I figured as much. Yeah. Can I use it's the book to not <laughs> like that? Uh, you can, but it's going to be a bonus action. So there's going to be everything to do this. I, I figured it would. Cool, be. cool. Yep, just, just letting you know. So there's no surprises. You never have sex with someone with a lisp. <laughs> Uh, that is a 13. 13. Uh, you, you, you hunt around, you sort of look and try to help for a second, you can't find it. You run across to the notice board and immediately notice that you step in bones and your feet just go straight through as you step through a skull. A and there's piles and piles of, of dry dead bodies at this point. And you start to look through the notes in the list, but the 13, you can't see anything just yet. Okay. Cool. There All is right. a, a legitimate notice board in here. There's a notice board? Yeah. Okay, I thought we were, I thought you were fucking. I'm gonna. No, go sorry. No, no, no. When, sorry, I, when it went down there, that's why I was like this, this lovely modular piece of terrain. There we, there we go. There is, there is a notice board. <laughs> that's why I was like. That's why I was like. There's a notice board because there was. <laughs> we can't see it from this that's angle, fair, so yeah, we were yeah. just like. Oh, you okay. missed a great joke, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm still missing it. Uh, the footsteps get louder and heavier, and s- the breathing begins to creep into your very self. Um, if two, oh, you oh. do begin to see this approaching the hallway towards you. Well, yes, ah. yes, yes, yes. Right. Do you want to come back through that door, chap? Four, you're up. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck this guy, secret tunnel. Um, <laughs> he made his decisions. <laughs> Toots there, like. I regret some of my choices. <laughs> <laughs> regret is a new feeling. Um, huh. <laughs> I would like to a um, 
do an investigation, see if I can figure out this door. I'm going to scan the room. I'm looking for strangely worn candle labras and shit. <laughs> Go for you it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go for it. Um, well, given that my thing is at the same time, I'm just going to use all my movement to fly back to where Toot is. Great. And try and be like, through the door, through the door, through the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll do this first. Seven. Uh, you you aren't you you find yourself on the same side as Alexi, and you start looking at the notice board, and all you can see is Zumba has been cancelled. <laughs> ah. um, and and and, and, and it's it, it was being led by the Guardian, but something happened, and now now it's not going on anymore. Cool. I don't think that I don't think that move, that that Guardian can move at the rate of a Zumba instructor. Um, but imagine if it could. But imagine if it could. Yeah, we fucking hope it. <laughs> and I would like oh, no. to ready a spell. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What? What are you? What specifics are you waiting for? Are you so, waiting for it to come through the door? Yeah. If. If okay. If I hear. Um, if I hear the sound of a boy being pulverized, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to ready dimension door for me and this boy. Okay. For this boy. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, Milo, you come and you f- fly up and uh, two. Um, since you're after. You're after Myla. This bat just. Oh, no. Flat twice for stop. <laughs> <laughs> and the bat's gonna sort of just hang off a bit of two so that hopefully she can just be like carried through the door. Cool. Huh. What happens next? Where's the closest dark thing? Shadow thing? Uh, the mini didn't arrive yet, unfortunately, but it's right, right around about here. Cool. We'll walk over, pick it up. Okay. Bring it take back it through, through the door. The, take it back through the door. Okay, cool. That's going to be your action movement to do all that. Yep. Cool, great, done. You've taken it back through. Um, so half movement carry it so you can probably get to about there. I feel this would make things easier. Thank you, yes. We light our torches with it so we take some of the magical black fire. Very good. With us. Suddenly Fucking around smart. you, you're, you're not a headache, but there's like this strain that's been on your eyes and suddenly everything eases up just just a little bit more. Great. Cool. Alexi. Great. Uh, oh, sorry, Toot, was there anything else you wanted to do? Ah. Cool. Alexi, you're up. Continuing <laughs> the search. Cool. Investigation check. Uh, straight roll this time. Uh, 14. 14. You start just pulling away at paper and like nothing sort of coming through. Um, and you do notice the 14, one of the planks is slightly askew. Great. Let's have a look at that plank. Cool. You, you play with it, you straighten it back up and yep. you, you feel a click. <laughs> okay. And you hear, you feel a scrape of um, stone behind you. As, Doors opening. As the Let's door, go! As the door begins to swivel. Is that an actual? <laughs> <laughs> swivel Hell door! Yeah. Swivel door! Fuck, um, that's sick as hell. Cool. Like, oh, like, door, move. Okay. Go. Door, move. Door, move. Uh, cool. Movement. Full movement. Yep, you can get through it. Do, 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 do. Yep, you can just, just get out there. You find yourself in a, in a, in a bright, narrow corridor. Uh, cool. Downstairs neighbors absolutely love us. Love us. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> uh, you so hear. It, right, right, right as you're starting to move, you, you hear just this. <laughs> Right outside the door in the front here. Um, are we all running or are we sticking around? Run. We're running. I'm already would... through the door. Yeah. <laughs> I would, Just taking. I, I mean, I know what Reese is like. <laughs> I would a like delight. to be able to. Yes. I would like to be able to throw a glance back over my shoulder because everyone else has seen it but me, and I feel left out. I haven't seen it. The door's shut, I think. Shit. The door. The door is shut at this point. Yeah. But, okay, you oh, all please. begin to run and make your escape. Yeah, uh, Cheese it. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I will let you get a uh, perception check at disadvantage if you want to try and get a glimpse. My perception checks have been doing so well. Um, okay. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, you do just manage to, at the corner of your eyes, you come out as this large metallic like <laughs> structure He's on top of this boy. <laughs> big face. Uh, you, you, you can sort of see now, now that, like, I'm assuming you didn't take the fire with you. Oh, you've got the torches now. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a large humanoid with sort of like metal, like fused to the skin and this long raven-like helmet carrying a massive scythe with an even bigger raven head on the back of that and just sort of like, as it walks in, it looks and scans across. Um, Who was first out the door? You. Uh, Cool. Give me a perception check, please. Disadvantage or? Uh, Straight roll, because you've got your your torches uh, helping you out now. Uh, Nine. Nine, uh, you don't see anything else. So you'll run out with the door staying open behind you. Close it. I'm the last one out. Okay, make a perception check to see if you can see where to close it. 
12. 12, you do notice a lever on the other side as well. That was the DC you needed. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, sweet, you pull it. I'm going to roll a perception check for this guy to see Ooh, if he's there. Performance right. anxiety. Uh, a 13 or lower fails. Okay. That's a 5. It, it stops and it instead it first looks to the notice board instead and sees all the papers on the ground before seeing the door. Oh no, I'll have to clean all of this up. <laughs> Zomba's cancelled! No! <laughs> right, uh, you find yourselves in a hallway running and running and running and running. Um, cool, I need to get another map out. <gasps> Maps upon maps upon maps. Oh man, maps I was, all the way down. I was, it's maps. I was prepared for it's, this. It's maps, Bateman. Hey. hey. <laughs> While he's gone, I'm really glad that we're doing this. Yeah. This is good fun. This was but going to be a talky episode. This was going to be a talky episode. <laughs> um, and I. Was it? No. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it is. No, clearly for once, Matt's actually prepared for whatever bullshit yeah. we've come up with. Oh, like. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. So that's there's a talky, talky session. Want, oh, 12 Do you want a hand Bring putting it, it down? I think, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Famous last words. I believe in you. I'm going to laugh at you if it goes badly. Yeah! yeah. It's a little skilling ton. Oh, I, I, I do love the little bookshelves very much. I think they're yeah. really great. Oh, the I doors are so good. It's the all magnetic, yeah? Cool. Yeah, links in the description, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, guys, girls, non-binary pals. Uh, right, so the four of you, running, 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 as quickly as you can. Um, <gasps> it's an ossuary. Cool. It is, isn't it? It's got bones in the walls. It's yeah. got so many bones. Uh, you burst through the double doors and find yourselves in this crypt-like room all of a sudden the torches um, you notice there are a couple of other torches uh, sconces only in there with the same black flame you're able to see in here quite quite easily like there's still bright light fighting through uh, you don't know how long you've got what happens next I close the doors I'm going to immediately start looking around for the names on those sarcophagi okay uh, investigation check please for that it's, it's actually sarcophagodes Sarcophopodes. Sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. Yeah, no, you don't have a clue. Um, years and years and years, everything seems worn down and scraped off. There's no discerning marks you can make out on that on that front at all. Um, can I, as a bat, I'm just going to be having a little look around, seeing if I can see any openings, any more like secret doors or anything. Uh, yeah, sure. You, you you float through this, but this feels like uh, I'll make make a perception check then, please. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, with a fifteen, um, you're able to pretty. This this feels like a secret area, um, not a place you would stumble into. It's a one way in, one out yeah. sort of system. So you know, you're effectively trapped in the space right now. Hella. I'll check what way the doors open, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll brace against them. You brace, and this time you don't fall through. You keep it. You keep it pressed in. Yay. Cool. Um, Alexi, for Miley, you all, all notice there are like some books and scrolls kicking it out. Um, and I don't have it here, but we'll make something work. There is a large crystal on a pedestal. Woo! Oops. Yeah, Would have started with that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was <laughs> a bit busy with everything else. <laughs> bury the orb. Uh, four, you haven't gone yet. Would you like to go? Um, I'd like to take everything that's not nailed down. <laughs> okay, investigation check, please. <laughs> Uh, 17. 17. Uh, yeah, with 17, you're able to sort of make your way through things pretty pretty quickly. Um, a lot of old scrolls, a lot of old descriptions, a lot of history of the Raven Queen, um, the connections to 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 the cast as well. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this not a, a reading? I'm just taking things that I'm like, cool. we'll deal with this later. Uh, I will send you <laughs> an Alexi's library. He's, he's going to be there like. Ooh. He has owned a library now. It's great. Uh, there, I've just sent you an essay um, of all nice. the history that has been. Written um, out for you. Um, Myla's gonna de bat. De bat. You de. de um. <laughs> cool. Um, a moment passes by and another, and you realize, at least at this point, it doesn't sound like you're being followed. I would like to touch the orb. <laughs> How about we don't immediately touch the orb? She's already said it. I would like to touch the orb. <laughs> cool. Um, I'd like to touch the orb. I would like to examine the orb. <laughs> Your Examine approach. with your eyes and your hands. <laughs> As you get closer, the fire on your torch 
almost like like a wind is blowing it. it it feels like the light seems to be coming off this the orb, orb. Okay. and is pushing the fi- flame and the flame essentially is going out um you realize the sconces there's actual glass behind these which is preventing whatever this this force this presence is the only thing keeping this room even slightly bearable for your eyes but your torch goes out, out. yeah cool. um, um but it is a bright blinding the closer you get the harder it is the constitution saving throw Uh, that is an 18. Pass. Yeah, nice. you, you just managed to, like, you're like fuck! Ah! you don't get quite close enough to touch it, um, but you realize it's, it's going to cool. be tough How going. How big is the orb? Uh, the orb's probably, you know, about the, about the size of a, probably about a beach ball sort of size thing. <laughs> and, and I've touched it, yeah? You haven't touched it yet. Um, you've gotten close, your torch has gone out. Would you like to touch the orb? <laughs> yes. This and other silly questions are available on a two CD set. So it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cool. You reach out your hand. You touch the orb. I need everyone to leave the room, please. Except <laughs> for. Whispers. Whispers. You get whispers. I'm finally not the one being <laughs> left outside. Being seated. <clears throat> uh, no, not like kind of jealous. I'll add another tally to my dead score. <laughs> Add another tally to the dead store. Dun, 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 dun. The moment you touch the orb, you, you think, you know, there's a warmth that comes from that. Suddenly it just goes cold and your fingers are stuck and you feel yourself drawn <gasps> into Hell it yeah. and you're, you're pulled and suddenly ripped. Um, and you, you sort of see you pulled out and out and zoom and you lo- realize you're looking down at the world from. From the water and seems to be like fast water rewind you're not sure which way time seems to be traveling but you look at like the creation the death of the world over and over and over and over and over um and suddenly it stops and the world goes bright blue and bright green and you notice there are three moons currently going past cool i recognize you recognize tunis you recognize is it shattered or unshattered it is currently unshattered Three so. moons. All unshattered. All unshattered. Okay. But the longer you look and you stare and you wait, Tunis suddenly <laughs> becomes that familiar eye of the goat staring down at the world. The blue moon, the one that normally sits over the field of Arrow, suddenly <laughs> shatters in, in an instant and sets, um, and a single teardrop seems to fall. And then a, another purple moon, much larger, much, much bigger. Um, this time the eye of a hawk seems to watch on. And as you watch, nothing seems to happen at first, but the longer you look on, both you and, and Turnus and the goat's eye, there's almost like this trail of, of wisps traveling between the world and, 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 and the purple moon, and going back and forth in both, in both directions. Do I get the impression that that is like populations of persons traveling to and from this moon you would surmise with your basic intelligence that yes that's that's what you can pick up I have to say it like that. <laughs> but looking on it gets faster and faster you notice the the other moon that that, that shattered Raleigh the pieces are beginning to approach and spread and come around and before you know it, suddenly there's this whirlwind, this whip of rock around and around and suddenly it cuts straight through that stream and the purple moon begins to corrode and turn this rusty brown. So once again, sort of slow motion, fast forward, you're not sure, Turnus glances around like an eyeball floating in space and flies through and collides with that moon and just stops and holds and begins to absorb and suck it in and this other moon sort of comes inside and sucks it in tunas grows and grows and grows and the goat eye the pupil dilates and dilates and dilates and the trail stops and riley eventually calms down and just becomes that lovely slow falling pattern and then tunas grows and then stops and then grows and then stops. And every time you think it's about to mm. explode or be on the brink, and you notice every time it gets close, there's little copper, rusty veins coming through. Does and then, Tunis notice me at all? It seems that you're watching something play out, but yeah. you've been a silent observer this entire time. I would like to call out to Tunis. Make a persuasion check, please. Thank you. Um, 
Fourteen. Fourteen. You you reach and you call, but no sound escapes. Yeah. But still, for a moment, mid explosion, time freezes. <coughs> that goat eye does come back. It looks bloodshot. It looks rotten, almost. You're not sure when or where this is, but you you feel this this need, this urgency that it can't contain whatever it's been containing this entire time and something needs to be fixed or you get a sense of undone. The rot needs to be cut out or replaced to back its original position. feels like whatever you've been doing this entire time, what you, one through five, have been doing has just been resetting. Not fixing, just resetting. A band-aid. And as you look into that goat's eye again you feel that same pull as you are launched back towards the planet and you look from the corner of your eye as this rod comes shooting alongside of you flying flying it. flying make a dexterity check please oh fuck me um uh it's an eight you make the grab, you miss, and it flies on ahead, landing, <laughs> shooting straight through the floor, and you're about to hit the earth. You sort of brace for a second, and then you land awake, breathing, panting, with the rest of your friends, who may now return all around you. Starfless. Yes. Again! But probably the most certain you've felt in a very Has long Naomi time. Naomi ascended. <laughs> um, Naomi's now level 15. <laughs> no. no. Yes. Join me. Can I have a bloodshot eye when I return? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, pink eye. A bloodshot eye or a bloodshot goat eye? Oh. Bloodshot goat eye's pretty good. Dumb. Thank you. You got those goat eyes? <laughs> what Shit. the fuck? What's happening to this group? The rest of you. Goat the, eyes. <laughs> goat eye singular. The three of you... What you noticed is the moment that four touched that orb, suddenly they froze and just locked. Um, like, still breathing, just a, like a freeze frame. And for a good two, three, four, five, feels like maybe half an hour goes by before suddenly she is launched back and lands back against the wall. Oh, um, you okay? Well, awake. We'll get a, see if I can grab one of the bookcases, wedge it up against the door. We'll go over, and are you all right? I fucking missed it again! What? What? It doesn't fucking fuck me, right? Um. Oh, you have a little. Literally any information would be handy, right? You are not a bat anymore, are you? No. You have a little... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm just telling Sasha things, don't worry. This is cool. cool. Um, Miles' ears go like... <laughs> um, I pat the floor and check that the, the fucking staff that I missed yet again did not <laughs> pull out somewhere and I'm like, <laughs> like just desperately trying to find did it. Did you drop something? Yeah. <laughs> Did it? I just heard something crash through a ceiling. <sighs> Point me in the direction. Uh, okay. What, I tilt my like? head, and the pupil tilts afterwards. Uh, to to the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's watching Reese, and then oh. go, uh, to to the west side. So west side. An, an opposite to where you are at the moment. <laughs> okay, she's gonna be like, uh, far, quite far away, but west. Okay. Uh, Head in that direction? Yeah. I um, guess we're going to have to leave <clears throat> here and, and yeah? Yeah. Uh, this orb is, is, is providing the light. Y yeah. Should that's, we smash that's it? That's fine. No, it's um, fine. I f Do we wish to smash it? I kind of feel like it, it, it should stay as it is. Okay. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> 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 What's I Alexi doing? Sorry, this entire time. You're very quiet, uh, mate. <laughs> no, do do what you want, mate. It's fine. Okay, so things things feel calm. Apart from oh. this, things do feel calm. Just, we'll just the bookcases have been completely looted. Yep. Uh, the orb is a no-go area. The 
sarcophagus, sarcophagus, whatever. Fucking, um, they, see, yeah, I'm just gonna... You haven't actually tried to open the sarcophagus yet. I was gonna have a go at that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. half an hour while I've been... <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, cool. Yeah, um, I mean, with half an hour, like, with enough work, you manage to, like, push it off, and... I would like to check it for any sort of obvious traps first, though, please. Sure. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Thanks. Don't fuck me again. It fucked me. Ten. Again? Looked fine. Great. You you push which one? Uh, middle. Middle. Uh, you 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 scrape and push the lid off. <gasps> the lid comes off. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing in there. It looks empty. It looks void almost. As if there's a bottomless hole. I'm gonna poke the rapier in and see if I can hit the bottom. It stops. You can touch the rocky bottom. Uh, I'm the stony crevasse. <laughs> uh, Okay, is there anything on the inside? Does it look like it might have it, any sort of uh, it hidden looks areas? Jet Vanta Black. You poke around with the rapier, you can't it just feels like an empty empty tomb. What happens if I drop the ever burning torch in there? Goes in. Can I see the torch? You can you can it's it's black on black, so you can't see the torch, but when you pull it out it's still going. Have it's just you considered getting in. Uh you push him. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Push him, push him, push him, push him. Really? He's, he, oh, I'm not going to push him. He's been pushed into too many things. Yes, he's um, been like Episode to, one. It looks like you're trying to investigate a sarcophagus. <laughs> Would you like any help with that? Myla's going to push off the lids of the others. Cool. Uh, same thing. Empty each time. You poke around. Nothing inside. How much space is there inside? Oh, about a human sized sort of space. Myla's going to hop in one. Okay. Like you hop in and you immediately long. feel a deep chill run down your spine. Like there is something else in here and you're not very welcome in this space. You don't feel in danger, but there's, there's a very uncomfortable feeling. Like you're sharing this space with <laughs> someone Like you crawled into else. someone's grave and they're like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> occupancy yeah. one. Myla's going to be like, oh, um, excuse me. Hello, I'm sorry. Um, I'll get out. And she's gonna hop back out again. There's no response, and it takes a couple of minutes and for the sweat to wear off. But yeah, you feel okay. Um, so should we go ahead in the direction of that crash? That sounds like a plan. Which would mean going back towards the thing. We're and gonna then... have to go back towards the thing anyway, yeah. regardless, unless we want to die in this tomb. Are we sure we don't wish to smash this ore? Hold on. Mm -hmm. When I touched the thing, mm -hmm. my original question was going to be, did it move when I touched it? Oh yes. Yes, it, it's balanced. It's sort of sitting in like a, a little crevice. We don't even oh. have to smash it, team. Can we take it with us? Carry it. Yeah. I put on a pair of oven gloves. <laughs> Where do you need a pair of oven gloves from? <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Thanks. Let her cook. <laughs> and I'm like, do, do you want to open that bag? <laughs> and I put it inside the bag of holding. Okay. Is it a multi-dimensional object? Am I gonna fuck up our- One way to find out! You ready? <laughs> I'm closest, chill, fuck it. Boo. Okay. Do you close it? The bag? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? <laughs> Shut my eyes. Nothing happens, but suddenly all the light just fades, dissipates, gone, and now you're in jet black space. And suddenly you hear this And the three sarcophagi you opened up, suddenly that same cold presence start to fill and sp spread across all three of you as these dark shaded figures begin to <laughs> crawl oh, out. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take the order? <laughs> okay. I will cast light on my head. Uh, as these wraith-like creatures begin to crawl Hell out. Yeah. Uh, I need you all to please roll initiative. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Open no the bag! Awesome. Don't awesome. open the bag, I'm having a great time. <laughs> also, I Wait. think- Wait! Wraiths with wings! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great. Cool. One moment. A one moment caller. One moment. Your call is very important to us. That's a lie. Your impending doom is very important to us. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> right. Um, cool. 25 to 20, please. <sighs> 20, 
Really? <laughs> 20 to 15. 15 to 10. 13! Wow. Wait, I'm top of initiative? That's 12. 12. 12. Jesus. Uh, 10 to 5? Five. What'd you get, Reese? Uh, actually, no, to be fair, I did get 5. But that's because I rolled a 3. <laughs> I rolled I rolled a 3 also. I rolled an 11. You're so good at this. Um, we have the same initiative as well. Yeah. So, uh... And we got the same deck, so we're good. We're, 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 Who, okay, go rock, paper, scissors, yeah. you go first. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> okay. You win. <laughs> the first wraith crawls out, the one that you got into bed with, Myla. We'll call Swear. it this one. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, like, she's like, you didn't call! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and immediately jumps up and like clamps onto you. Uh, ah. Yeah. I thought it was my turn to use the living room. <laughs> right, let's As do it. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't make the bed. Uh, <laughs> it's still a bit slow to get up and it sort of scrambles. <laughs> um, but you manage to step out of the way just in time and as it misses its attack. Uh, cool. Honey, yeah. I'm home. <laughs> uh, sorry, Milo, what was your initiative? 13. 13. It was 13, yeah. Cool. Uh, Miley, you're up. Oh god, I should have I should have thought of what I was going to do. Um, That's what happens when you're top of the initial order. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay. Um, in that case, let's let's do a quick um, uh, she's just going to like as she steps back to get away from the mm-hmm. other one, she's just going to like go ah! and like a little puff of poison's going to come out from her outstretched hand and she's going to cast poison spray. Great. At it. Cool. Um, you concentrate for a moment, you... <laughs> nothing happens. Poison doesn't work. Good to know. Um, Movement bonus action. I mean, I can't really do very much with that because I can't move away without getting a cool. pack of opportunity, so I guess she'll just, like, ready herself for whatever's going to come. Great. Alexi, you're up. Alexa wants to figure out what's going on down here, and this is bullshit he doesn't have time for. I open the bag of holding, put my both hands in, think of the odd, pull it out. Gone. What? Gone. Think what is? All three. Great. Gone. Cool. Saves so a bit of uh, hassle. <laughs> <sighs> We we hold that orb with the other gloves <laughs> and reverse out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a point. Only one of my hands is gloved. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. And you assume you just went like, whoop. <laughs> oh, it's a beach ball. You need both hands, wouldn't you? That's how heavy. Only things. one individual dream sequence per episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more damp. <laughs> uh, are we moving the bookcase out of the way then? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, right, we're, right. we're like, we're like, cool. Nice to see you. All right. Uh, I say a little like, uh, hokey cokey, rest in peace. Was there um, anything in all of that stuff that you took that could work as a passphrase? Um, I just passed the book to you. I'll forward you the message. I'm just gonna. No, you got it. You got it. Great. In which case, I will cast light on the door. Strong. On cool. this side of the door, cast oh, light that's and just be like, lot. okay, cool. I'm just yeah, gonna... right? Cool. The moment you step out and the main light goes, you do start to. <laughs> As those same screeches and noises start <coughs> coming back. Steady on there, man. Don't do drugs, Dedication kids. to the bit. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Good. What? Don't do helium. <laughs> <laughs> Helium's great. You find I yourself don't... back in the hallway. Who's carrying the orb at the moment? With one glove, walking your way back up through. What happens next? Uh, I would very much like to be guided as Alexi is all in one hand, books and shit in the other. Cool. Desperately uh, yeah, you have just all like, of this trying to... Yeah. Um, Constitution saving throw. As you have dark vision and you are right next to the orb. Yeah, that's a fucker, isn't it? Um, You're like, this le- reading light is too bright. <laughs> uh, I must talk to Godfrey about 24. it. 24. Four. You're wise to it, so for the next hour or so, you're able to like gauge, and it doesn't blind right. you, but it's not. It's not doing much for your perception checks. I am trying to read through all of the shit that is all the right the literal stuff. essay that that yeah, I said. Yeah, sure. Essay yeah, cool. And uh, try and see if there is any sort of 
passphrase to be determined from it that I can use. So. I think it's Narrel. I think Narrel is maybe the name of the creature that we're experiencing. Um, and I, uh, I'm f- leading the charge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know where the switch is for the thing. I listen yep. at the door to check if the lad is on the other side. You don't hear any noises on the other side. Right. I look at everyone. I'm like, are we, are we ready to do this? Give it, it a go. We should probably be very quiet. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't cast silence. There's nothing I can do. You're just gonna have to do your best. I can. I can, but try. I can. Um. I can cast Path Without a Trace. Is it worth it? Maybe ready it. I'll ready it. Cool. Um, we click, click, click. Cool. And we begin to sneakery. Okay. I relight my torch as we go past the <laughs> the leftover beastie. The door is closed. The beastie is gone. Mm-hmm. And as you begin to creep, I need stealth checks from all of you. Please and thank you. Mm, yeah, let's just fuck it. Pass without trace. <laughs> probably for the best. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> Inky and Blinky over here can't be fucking uh, trusted. Reese, just out of interest, how long does light last? Oh, uh, light. Oh, that's a useful thing to know. Mm. Uh, light lasts for an hour. hour. Great, good to know. Thank you. <gasps> right. Natural 20. Oh, I'm so Natural proud 20. of you. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 15. Okay. With yeah. with Pass Without Trace? Yeah, 15 with Pass Without Trace here as well. So Thank I'd you. like to point out I got 35 so, so and a natural 20. So 35. We'll, we'll, we'll just be like, hey, we're being very quiet right now. Well done, us. <laughs> Round of applause for us. <laughs> I'm gonna do the little dance that I do when I do really good at being stealthy. <laughs> you begin to creep through, <laughs> opening up the main hallway and begin going down the first passageway where Myla first came in. You walk for five, 10, 15 minutes, every breath, every little scrape, any slight moving of stone, you'll freeze. Eventually you come to a large set of wooden doors. It's silent. Would you like to go through the doors? Myla's going to press her ear up against the door and try and hear anything on the other Make side. Make a perception check for me, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 17 plus 19. With a 19, you listen for a moment you hear a soft hum from inside. Like singing or like mechanical? Mm, just the same pitch, the same frequency, just sort of reverbing. But with a 19, this room feels large. Yeah. This feels like a big space. Can I, since I've had a little bit of time with the with the books before I've passed them off to Alexi, do I know anything about Neryl? Make, make a history check. Uh, proficient history check. Okay. Since you've well, read read up in the last half an hour. Cool. Or so. It's a dirty twenty, a twenty-three. For a twenty-three. Dirty twenty-three. It's a dirty twenty, and then with proficiency. Oh, with proficiency. Understood. 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 Neryl, the the little bit you've gleaned up in the short amount of time you've had. One of the original guardians, uh, a devout champion of the Raven Queen. And raven-shaped, like if a man had a big raven helmet. It's implied, but it's a little hard to tell if that's actually what it's meant to be. And without more time or seeing what you presume to be narrow up close, you're not sure what that means or what that looks like for certain. Does, like, the Shadowfell have its own language? Uh, Yeah, you would have... You would have Undercommon, I believe... Primordial? Primordial. Primordial feels a bit more ancient than that. That feels more more elemental. So, yes, primordial, no primordial. For, for the Shadowfell, no. 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 Okay. Um, I convey this to Alexi as the other person with the brain cell in the party. Hello. <laughs> Both of us throwing the single brain cell back and forth. Oh, you Neither dropped it. Neither of you using it at any time. <laughs> It stands like, to reason then that this is Neryl, therefore this is uh, the final tomb of <laughs> Lara. 
therein, if there is any passphrase, it's most likely to be some iteration of that, or we can at least use it to stop us from immediately killing us. That's my intention. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't speak the language I think it might speak. Yes. I could help with that. Oh. I have tongues. Tongues. Very good. Who would you like to cast tongues on? Who are you going to kiss with tongues? (laughs) Don't. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Illegal. (laughs) Illegal. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Content warnings are in the description. (laughs) Oh, you gross boy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, Not okay. So. Grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. Moreover, when the target speaks, any creature that knows at least one language can hear the target and understands what it says. Mm-hmm. So, okay. do I cast it on you? <laughs> you have or to. Or do ca- I cast it on Neryl? <laughs> no, you cast it on one of us. Okay. Uh, I think you probably well, have to cast, cast it on boy. me okay. as a person with any persuasion, no offense. Uh, yeah. It's worth. But Alexi is a champion of the Raven Queen. Yeah. Mm. You can. Well, tell. he has spoken directly to the Raven Queen. Okay. It's your plot line. Fuck it. Cast on him. Uh, uh, but but is it, Alexi will say that. Uh, Neryl is said to be a, this champion of Alara. I have spoken to the Raven Queen. Were you on good terms? <laughs> yes, yeah, she gave me some gifts. I mean, is that. Yeah, good? Yes. Good. Oh, good. Well then, in which case... Unless, of course, you give people gifts just to fuck them up later, which is maybe a really different thing. I you. don't know. I have not received gifts. Except from the ones I have stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out. Uh, it's... I gave... I dressed you. That shield oh, I dressed. just gave you as a gift. Then, you yes. You give fuck, fuck you with your sad boy vibes. Oh, Cyril, case, Cyril crawls out with a couple of acorns and just hops and walks away as oh. well. Hello, Cyril. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I did not understand these were gifts. I, I apologize. Thank you kindly for these gifts. If you keep them. They, they, oh, then thank you yeah, very yeah. much for these gifts. This is for you. And it's... And you kiss him with tongues. <laughs> yeah. So what it is, is Please this. don't be Alexi's first kiss. <laughs> oh, no. It, it, no. <laughs> no. 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 Consent. Exactly. exactly. D- DM no. says yes? No. No, no, no. It's not. <laughs> Does the DM have difficulty understanding consent? <laughs> and so it will no, pull out no, this. I know that you are upset that you weren't his first kiss, but that doesn't mean <laughs> you can take it out on Alexi. It's a long time ago. <laughs> I'm From the tongue, it's it's fine. pulls out a small kind of round <laughs> Orb thing. Of tongue. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it cannon. Looks, whatever's in there, it's red and it's writhing. Um, <laughs> and we'll just say, Here, hold this underneath your tongue until it dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> As it dissolves, you feel oh, lots of fun. tiny little tongues just. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wriggling. Like licking the inside of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is Matt's best day ever. And now this will call this will cast tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I just had to get rid of that. Um, it was no, stinking no, sorry, up the tummy the drawer. The first one was the tongues. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. Okay. As you. Open the door into the main the main sanctum. Yeah. Yep. What choice do we have? There's always a choice. No, no. no. Uh, <laughs> it's a literal railroad. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> it is a literal corridor. <laughs> <laughs> I love a rail system. I'm sorry. You place your hand on the cold metal door handle, noticing the scrapes on the granite leading inside. And as you push, the double doors open and open them. A grand room greet you. Hello! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> I'm so Hello. sorry. Oh my god. <laughs>
Thank you for so much. There are words. Oh, you threw you, you threw me. I'm good. Them. Yeah, t- don't you don't you tongue me. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I've been Matt Beam and Sasha Berger and David Cox, Amy Clark, and the lovely Reese Lawton. Uh, I've also done the camera and sound and lighting today because We're that's good. good for me. Yeah. Good for me. Yeah. Jeff is in New York. So now you know who to blame if anything's if off. anything's wrong. It's this guy right here. Uh, amazing artists, creators, musicians, etc., uh, etc. Just good people in minis. the link. As well as the terrain stuff and the minis and everything else. And also Patreon or Patreon. I'm so upset. We didn't say Patreon last time. Missed opportunity. Anyway, thank you for watching. We're going to do the post-show chat. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye. I I miss you already. <laughs> rocky bottom. Funny that we, I got you. It's very good. We will be using the words rocky, rocky bottom, bottom as much as is humanly possible in I mean, this episode. I feel like if we don't, what's the point in carrying on? Exactly. I got some sort of rocky bottom down there. <laughs> it's an impressively rocky bottom down there. Rocky I just bottom, feel like bottom. I'm hitting rocky bottom, you know? <laughs> Dude, I've never asked your bottom. Is it a rocky bottom? <laughs> no, it is made of wood. But However, it is cantilevered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Three, two, one.